from One Twins Way in Minneapolis. Welcome inside Target Field. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the Minnesota Twins. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go and towing the slab. Pablo Lopez. What's the word on him? Well, this guy's got sort of a tweener. Not quite a slider velocity and not as slow as a curve. It's in between and he adds and subtracts velocity on it, which makes it harder for the hitters to really get that front foot down and have the timing they need to be successful. Line drive. Frazier retired. And there's one down. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one. the air right field dives but it's off his glove base hit Not at first. The first base number nine. Captain one down runner at first Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals and that one is lifted in the air Buxton moves under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Batting four, the catcher, number 13, Salvador. And now it's Salvador Perez, Perez to the plate. High fly ball, right field. This could go the distance. Home run. He powers that one out of here. It's 2 nothing. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that. And that time that ball was hit hard. So two down and next up for the Royals Michael Massey. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one is gone. They do it again. Back to back homers. And they boost their lead. It's three. Nothing. Another home run. This is turning into BP. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat. And a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. So two away with nobody on. And here is Hunter Renfro. Base knock center field. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Fastball that pretty exactly. much middle middle and that's what you fall asleep one. dreaming about as a hitter. MJ. So no surprise he put a great Melendez. swing on it. Runner at first with two away. MJ Melendez now at the plate. In the air, left side. Squeezes it, and that is that. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now 3 nothing.
You're dialed into the show. Back at Target Field, showing the slab in today's game. Cole Reagans, what do we have on him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, Leading and that off. can make Four life three. very difficult on his opponents. We go to the bottom of the first. Really? This is Willie Castro. Yes, the pitch. You see the velocity, 97 with that fastball. Swings through that one for strike two. They're off to a great start. Three-run lead after their first inning, but so important to be airtight defensively. Don't give away extra outs and allow that other club to get back in this ballgame. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. You got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Byron Buxton in the box with one away as he takes ball one. In there at the knees for a strike. One out, base is empty. That one drilled left field. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. The throw into second, and he starts his afternoon off right with a double. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. So up next for Minnesota, Matt Walmer. Down the line. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. And a pitch. Ball inside. Buxton leads off second with one gone in the inning. In the air, right field, sizes this one up. Drops into the glove. Runner tags it second. And he's up to third safely with two gone. Now the lineup for the Twins as constructed by Rocco Baldelli. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Here's a rocket out to left, and that'll do it. The Royals claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. This is just a nice win. Three-nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you score, but you also know that if you're not careful, a bloop, a base hit, and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching. Timely hitting really made the difference. A shutout in this one. Three-nothing, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.